Hello and welcome to Board 8 Baseball, our fifth annual World Series between the Detroit Electricity and the three-time, this is their third time in a row in the World Series, the Sir Chris Chicago Cubs. With me tonight, the voice of Board 8 Baseball, X the Nemesis. Glad to be here calling another World Series. Uh, as always, Alec, I'm looking forward to this being just as exciting and hopefully a painfully long seven-game series for you. I will stomp on your testicles. I will I will go out to the Midwest. You already have one of them, and I don't live in the Midwest. Yeah, but you're in the Midwest right now, aren't you, at school? No, I, I go to school in my hometown. Oh, I thought... Okay, never mind. <laughs> anyway... On the mound for the electricity, the reigning, I think it was the badass, it was the kick-ass, I don't know, yeah. the reigning ass league champion uh, is going to be Ubaldo Jimenez, yeah. noticeably lacking his pinkness, I see. Yes, Ubaldo, uh, regular season, 2-1 with a 2.08 ERA. Here in the postseason, 2-0, 0.67, has allowed only two runs over 27 innings across four starts. They're going to get the lead runner. They are, and they are not going to get the double play. That was fairly close. Too low, though, as we know, runs with good speed. Uh, he of the famous Game 7 walk, steal, and then score. As this one is clobbered deep to left center. Ooh. And that's going to be a goal. That is a harsh play right there. That They did not want that to bounce into the stands. Well, Tulo was scoring easily. Granderson yeah. could have probably made it to third if that goes off the wall. And A-Rod, you can't get on him too much. He carried the uh, the offense in game seven. He strikes out looking. So we got two outs for Lomo. Big spot here. Yeah, A-Rod with his two homers, including the extra inning game winner. So Two run, two run shot off of K-Rod. And three and one here to Lomo. Shortens up on his swing. The pitch. Stroke. Ah, right at Cabrera. So, they jump out and hammer Pink Ubaldo, but can't score any runs. Not Pink, just Red Ubaldo. Completely different matter here. No, this is true. This is true. But yes, uh, Jaime oh. Garcia on the mound. 5-0 um, and in the regular season with a 1.05 ERA. Um, Consensus Cy Young. Yeah, postseason one and one with a two point four two, and really pretty much single handedly the reason that his team is here. I believe he has more than half of his team's wins. Yeah, I think his team had nine wins and he had five of them. Now, has was Garcia doing that the whole season, and just the rest of the team was in abject failure? As this one's lined into right field. Yeah, Garcia. Um, I don't know if Gar I mean, Garcia can't really have had a bad start. He only gave up five runs on the season over 43 wow. innings. So uh, it's, it's really impressive. Yes, he had a hell of a year. Uh, well, this was basically a swinging bunt, and that's going to move the runner over to second with two out here for uh, Nelson Cruz. Man, it's been so long since I've seen uh, the electricity. I don't really remember anything about them. <laughs> yes, well, you will learn all sorts of things for them tonight. Um, and Nelson Cruz goes down looking. So, uh, Jaime Garcia picking right up where he left off, basically. Yeah, so, Teixeira, who had four regular season homers and a postseason homer to boot. Only one? Only yeah. one. Um, this I, feel, I felt like I saw him hit another one, but whatever. That might have been the mushroom game. Is this one slapped into the gap? This one is going to get down. And go to the deepest part of the ballpark. Let's see if Teixeira... Nope, he's just going to stand up for a double. Second best catcher in baseball, who, despite having a good LCS, has only brought his average up to 220. Jesus. He must have had a... Yeah, he had 310 in the LCS, and but being O for the LDS did not help him. And, and strikes out pretty So badly. far, O for the World Series. <laughs> Anyway, uh, here's another story to keep an eye on. Ichiro Suzuki injured himself. Seven had to come out, and his replacement, Maglio Ordonez. I feel like Ordonez came up with a big hit in Game Seven. He went two for three that game, um, coming in in relief. I don't. He didn't score or knock in any, but I think he may have moved some base runners along. So, hey, you know that counts for something. And uh, Brian Roberts going behind 0 and two, 
runner at third, and Roberts is going to pop that one up into foul territory. So they're getting runners on. They're getting them in scoring position, but they can't get them in against Dubaldo. Dubaldo not looking his dominant self, though, it has to be said. As Billy Butler, well, Billy Butler in a World Series, I yeah. doubt it. Butler had a uh, solid postseason, hitting 309. Uh, he's hitting 333 here in the playoffs, although he hasn't really been able to get any power. So, which is... How on earth was that a strike? That was, wow. And he swings and misses, so we will have a payoff pitch. Garcia deals. And it's a broken bat. A-Rod fields and throws the first for the first out. So Molina hit 333 on the season. Here in the playoffs, only 167. Um, Gets that one back up the middle. What happened to it? I looked away to look at the basketball game. (laughs) Ball would uh, fly out right up the middle. So Chase Utley uh, struggled regular season, 227, but he has been on fire this postseason. He killed me. He killed me. I remember that. He is hitting 400 with a pair of homers this postseason. And woof, whiffs massively on that one. I do remember that even though I couldn't score to save my life, uh, my pitching, my starting pitching anyway, kept the uh, electricity quiet for most of the series. Yes, that is true. Um, I believe I will, in fact, check. The Nemesis gave up only 11 runs across those four games while scoring four of their own. Um and of course, six of those runs were by the bullpen. Hmm. So, very well, good at scoring late in games, clearly. <laughs> Jesus. I don't want to talk about it anymore. But anyway, um, Tulowitzki not happy with that first strike call. Tulowitzki, by the way, in case anybody didn't hear, was the MVP of the LCS, and he will get the single here. Tulowitzki ended up in the league championship series hitting 344 with five homers. 10 RBI and 8 runs, and uh, even though he was hitless in Game 7, he managed to turn oh! into a run, so that's yeah. full and bait. Yeah, that, that, was, that was a huge play. What a play there by uh, Chase Otley to run that one down. Now, uh, even though A-Rod may have got them here, remember, it doesn't count unless it's in Game 7 of the World Series. Against so, the Red Sox. Yeah, yeah, so I mean... The slate is wiped blank, and this is going to be a okay. It would have been a double play if there were only one out. Yes. So uh, we have coming up this inning Polanco, who sucks, and then two good hitters. So. Are you sure? Who are the, oh yeah, it's the, oh yeah. This team has uh, Gardner and Ellsbury. Yeah, batting back to back, and you know, if they ever do a lineup swap, that would be a good one. Here comes Brett Gardner hitting 452 this postseason. Wow. I feel like that should be your leadoff guy because, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, but I don't feel like Ellsbury's hitting well enough to justify. Yeah. Ellsbury is, Ellsbury would probably make a really good number two guy. He's in. And there we go. Yeah, Gardner's Ellsbury gonna hit in 333 off. with a pair of homers this postseason. Well, that's um, still pretty good. I don't, I don't know. Both I of them have like... a pair, and both of them have a pair of stolen bases. So get those guys up top, one two. It's yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, what do we know, Alec? You know. I, I am without a world championship ring. In fact, um, so X literally has only... more world championship rings than me. Ellsbury going to strike out, and uh, both these pitchers getting up, racking up the strikeouts, which is unusual for this game. Uh, I feel like Gonzalez had a underwhelming postseason so far. I let's see, he he had a good overall one. I'm trying to see if he was in one series or the other. He hit 421 against you. Oh well, then there goes my memory. Yep, <laughs> uh, regular season 324 with three homers, but we're Potentially a third of the way through the game with no runs scored. Plenty of base runners, but... Especially for the Cubs. I think they've had two in two different innings. 
Maybe maybe it was just the one inning. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. It doesn't matter. None of this matters. Look Except for the, secrets. Yes, look at these two teams. The Cubs ended up um, going um, seven and nine before they won the two play-in games. So they finished nine and nine, so to speak. Electricity nine and seven. Um, Cubs had a slightly negative run differential at negative four. Electricity um, had a plus nine run differential. And now we're where I get to pull out the real interesting stats about home games and away games, and because that makes such a difference in this imaginary simulation. <laughs> Electricity, actually, Road Warriors have um, only a 500 record at home. It's going to be a tough play, but he's thrown out at first. So we are through three and a half scoreless innings. Whereas the uh, Cubs actually have a winning record on the road, so... Both teams like it better on the road. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll get another series where the road team doesn't win a game until game five. Or, sorry, the home team doesn't win a yeah. until game five. No, no, this... Like I said, this, this should be interesting, because I definitely didn't think the electricity were all that impressive, and the Cubs have been a fairly solid unit. They did just beat the best team in the league, in both leagues to get here so well actually uh number one team was the penetrators who were defeated by somebody although at least if we go by record they were um 11 and 5 although the mannies had a better run differential um and more runs scored this one's lifted in the left field is that going to drop in front yes it is so that's a single for someone someone on detroit billy Billy Butler, butler your favorite God, unbelievable. Billy Butler with zero postseason RBI so far. Yadier Molina literally on a World Series team. Unfathom. Unfathom. Well, I mean, he, I, I mean, he has won a World Series before, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, he last just, year? He won in 06, too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Ugh. Baseball. What is wrong with you? Yeah, not going to win one if he plays like that, though. So, but coming up. Ichiro's replacement, the man who will make us forget about Japan. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not gonna forget about Japan, especially because Volch talks to me a lot. <laughs> and this one is a slow roller for an out. And Roberts now. Roberts uh, managed to pull it together in the postseason. was struggling a bit early, but he's up to a 300 batting average now. Wow, really? Yeah, well, 298, but... Well, 290 less now. Ubaldo settled in after a rocky start, and he's starting to show why he's just so dominant. Yeah, and Luke Scott, one for two so far this game, and now that's one for three as he hit over 500 in that seven-game LCS. His um, overall postseason average, 474. Jesus Christ. And that's still not good enough to get him the series MVP. Nope. That tells you how good Tulowitzki was. Yes. Well, clearly, hey, Scott, stop hitting those singles. He, I mean, clearly, he stole Ichiro's soul. <laughs> and... and... That's why Ichiro got injured. And this one's lifted, but it's going to curve foul. So the one and two to Utley. And he gets a piece of that, and it doesn't matter because Roberts is going to get under it. So Polanco, who I feel like he was on my team two years in a row or something. No, he was on he was on my team in year one and in the World Series year, I think. So two years in a row? Is that what I said initially? That is what you said initially. But here comes Brett so Gardner, was, hey, two was outs, right. going for that power. Wow, the Thunder are winning. Amazing. And the side is retired. So here we are through five innings.